Hi, my name's Rose. I'm a high school senior. I grew up in the church. We would go every single Sunday. I'd go to youth group, and by the age of 10, I decided that I wanted to be saved, and I wanted to be a Christian, so I made the decision about seven years ago, and in that time of my life, it was perfect. I had everything going right. I was reading my Bible. I was just being super involved in my church, and I loved it, and as I started growing older, I just had some experiences in my life that made me stop and realize if being a Christian is just staying in this one spot, then I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to grow as an individual. I wanted to be a better person and be a better Christian. And so I kind of took a step back when I really needed to take a step forward. And so I said I kept attending church, but I wasn't feeling as connected as I used to be. And there's a while where I just stopped going to church because I didn't feel that connection anymore. I didn't feel this um, connection I felt when I was 10 years old when I first was baptized. And so there were a couple of years where I would go on and off. And then Elizabeth Hilbrick, she asked me to go to youth group at the journey with her. And I said, okay, I'll go, I guess. And I went not with the intent of trying to grow a super strong relationship with God or Jesus, just to go to be challenged as an individual. And as I started going, I was like, well, this is really cool. <laughs> I loved it. And I loved Jared's um, little speeches and lectures about challenging topics. I just loved um, having these really interesting conversations with all these high schoolers my age, but having different perspectives on these situations and these life challenges. And so at the beginning of this year, I decided, you know what, if their youth group is this awesome, I bet their service is pretty awesome too. So I started coming to the services and when Matt said we need to take a challenging or a courageous step that challenges us somehow and that costs us something, that really stuck out to me. And I said, I want to do that. I want to take this courageous step that cost me something. And after seeing a couple of baptisms and just um, getting more fine-tuned my faith, even though that wasn't my goal in the first place of coming, I decided that I wanted to be baptized. And so there wasn't an exact like, aha moment, but I guess those words really fine-tuned my thinking and made me realize that I wanted to make this step of faith. I'm getting baptized today because I feel like I've grown as an individual and as a person and I want to show the world that I have because I feel like I've had all this growth with my faith and with who I am as a person and I'm ready for the world to see that and I'm ready for the world to know that I've recommitted myself and made a really strong effort to just be a better Christian and have this amazing relationship with God. I'd like to thank Elizabeth for bringing me to this church and to opening me up to this, these new ideas and thoughts. I'd like to thank Jared for having these amazing youth group discussions. I'd like to thank my youth group leaders, Ashley and Jessica, because without them, I wouldn't have made this decision because without the conversations I've had with them over these last few months, I wouldn't be in the place I am today. And I'd like to thank my dad for having those little tiny car rides around town, just talking about human beings and just what it means to be a Christian and what faith really is. My name is Rose and this is my story. Thank you guys for joining us today. The family I know is ready for this moment. They've got posters, no doubt, to celebrate this moment. You guys ready? <laughs> they got posters. So, guys, uh, this is Rose, and you saw our story. There's nothing I can add to it. So, Rose, it is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 